Boom shakalaka, while traditional bear market probability has never been higher, Bitcoin is just leaving its bear market. What does this mean? And more importantly, where could Bitcoin be headed? Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we have a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including how Bitcoin is leaving its bear market the same time traditional markets are entering a huge bear market in terms of probability. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Today, the Fear and Greed Index at 61, up from yesterday, 57, still in greed, though. The overall market up 2.5%. Bitcoin at 28.311, Ethereum at 18.13, BNB at 3.25, XRP 43 cents, Cardano 36 cents, Dogecoin 7 cents, Polygon dollar 14, and Solana just under $22. Now, Bitcoin again has broken out from the upper edge of this ascending trend that it's singing. Potentially, this upper trend could become new support if Bitcoin price keeps moving upwards. However, there is a key level not far above where we are right now $30,000, a big even, and also resistance on the volume price band so that being said we'll have to see how high and how quickly bitcoin can go but before we do this is very interesting bear market probability is at its highest level ever since 1990 we can see that historically taking a look at this when it did peak look at what happened to the traditional markets spx afterwards had nice significant falls afterwards we could be seeing that once again coming up for SPX, or maybe not. But if we take a look at Bitcoin, good buy bear market, according to this indicator, which we don't know what it is yet because we need to retweet this post in order to figure out. But according to this indicator, we have just left bear market territory. Bear market is from the red to the green, as we have seen previously. And once this green flashes and breaks through this trend line, guys, smooth sailing for Bitcoin. And that's exactly where we are right now. Now, as a matter of fact, the time to accumulate, according to the Williams percent R, has just ended. This historically has marked every significant period of accumulation for Bitcoin. Now, should you go crying already? No, we're just leaving it at this moment. So if you didn't get the best absolute deals, these are the second best deals. Congratulations to everybody who accumulated during this time. It definitely was not easy. Bitcoin is just doing what it does best breaking out of a descending wedge. And look at how big the gains are. Yes, short little gains right here, but then massive gains after that, after the halving. And you can see 46 bars before the halving where we are right now. Bitcoin is right on territory from breaking out from the descending wedge, finding support on this parabolic run, and then oftentimes likely continuing to go up. Bitcoin has just done something that every time historically has indicated very strong increases for Bitcoin. What is this thing? Well, it rec reclaimed this blue line, the weekly 200 MA and the EMA ribbons breaking through there. And historically, when Bitcoin has done that, it has marked very significant runs for Bitcoin. We just recently did both of those. The path should be very clear. Interesting to note, corrections at this point, since this would indicate a bull market, corrections at this point, buying the dip equals opportunity. Worth noting, as a matter of fact, right now, the realized price, the average purchase price of Bitcoin is once again rising. Now, as you take a look, this takes a look at the realized price and you're like, but it's been rising since a few months ago. But what this does is it takes a look at the 90-day change to filter out noise we are just breaking above that with the 90-day change so now we just flip positive which even more emphasizes that buying the dip is good because the direction has changed from going down to going up this is huge always buy the dip on the way up not financial advice because i never ever ever give that on this channel now Bitcoin Investor Tool suggests, for those of you who are crying that you lost the Williams percent R, the Bitcoin Investor Tool suggests that according to previous cycles, anything up to $35,500 represents a good accumulation opportunity. So in case you're crying because you missed the Williams percent R, right now you have up until $35,500 to buy the Bitcoin Lake, which historically represents amazing opportunity. And look at how deep it got this time. And look at how long it's been going on for. So 
If you're one of those people who's going to kick yourself when Bitcoin hits this upper band at $177,000, guys, you've had one heck of an opportunity. Still not over yet. Bitcoin, as of today, is still under $35,500. But maybe not for long. We have seen, this is over the past few years, Bitcoin has actually been following gold. Now, it did peak a little bit before gold right here, but then the valley followed gold. And then the next peak followed gold. And the next valley followed gold. Now, gold has already peaked once again. Bitcoin has not yet peaked to those same levels right now at about 50 some thousand dollars. Interesting levels to pay attention to because we have the halving coming up and then we have the post halving bull run generally that happens for Bitcoin. Now, if we just take a look at the last few halvings for Bitcoin, because there are only a few halvings for Bitcoin, all you noobs out there. Well, if we take a look at them, we can see from the lowest gains to the highest gains, this could put Bitcoin by the halving in the next year and some to somewhere between fifty and $850,000. Yikes. So that's all for today's video. If you did enjoy it, push that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.